Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Real Madrid. This is episode 15. So, we have officially found out who we play in the Copa de España. We are versing Malaga in the finals. And the quarterfinals of the Champions League have been released. So, Real Madrid, myself, have been drawn against Bayern Leverkusen, which I think is arguably probably the second or third weakest team there. Absolutely wrapped about. I reckon we can definitely claim the three points. But, guys, you've got to absolutely just laugh your asses off that Bayern Munich are versing Arsenal. They are just so, so unlucky. Manchester United are versing Galatasaray, and PSG are versing Roma. By those matches, I reckon you could see that Manchester United will be heavy favourites to beat Galatasaray, and PSG will defeat Roma. However, Roma will give them a run for their money, and you would obviously pick uh, Bayern Munich to defeat Arsenal. But uh, guys, we've got a huge match in today's episode. We have the El Clasico against none other than Barcelona at the Camp Nou. And then later on, we have the first match in the Champions League against... Oh, the first match in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, rather said, against Bayern Leverkusen. If you haven't gone and watched the last episode, highly recommend you do. Mbolo was the saviour in the match in the Copa de España in the semis. We were drawing until the 70, 75th minute, I think. We brought Mbolo off the bench. He scored two goals and set up one for Gareth Bale. And then Hesse Rodriguez put the nail in the coffin to make it 4-0. We managed to win 5-0 on aggregate. So... Without that Embolo impact, we were we were struggling, and we have been struggling in the Champions League in particularly. Um, for some reason, we managed to keep on drawing, which hopefully will be different against the match against Bayern Leverkusen. But I have a sneaky suspicion that there might be uh, draws plaguing this episode. But nevertheless, guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 16 Real Madrid career mode, please leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with future uploads of my Real Madrid career mode and my Manchester United if you haven't gone and checked out. Highly recommend you do. But uh, Gareth Bale is currently the, tar uh, cur currently? Currently the top goal scorer. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that accent is. Currently the go top goal scorer of the league. Got tongue-tied and might as well keep on going. Uh, let me know in the comments as well. I'm always eager to know your predictions. I always ask this in all my career modes. Where do you think I'll finish in the league? My objectives are being Real Madrid. We want to win the, the Liga, of course. And the Copa de España. And obviously the league and the Champions League. So, that's my objectives. Do you reckon I'll hit that? Barcelona aren't playing particularly well. Uh, and haven't really been putting the best team forward as well. Uh, but they will give me a red hot crack. Obviously, losing, losing uh, Neymar, it's a bit difficult. But they're playing Pastore on the left wing where Neymar is. Interesting. I'm assuming a team like... I, I just wish in FIFA 16 career mode and in career mode in general, teams were more, more, were more smart with their money. If they're allocated 200 million or like Manchester City, why the fuck don't they spend it all? Like, it's absolutely stupid. Why would you even hold on to it? There's no beneficial for holding on. It's not like, oh yeah, the board gets to keep more money and you can build a bigger stadium. Or No, you might as well spend the money. Like, why isn't the AO more intelligent to think, okay, I remember in my FIFA 10, this is another rant today, I was playing at, uh, what was it? I was playing as Real Madrid. This is, what, season 10, season 9? I guess it's obviously a little bit... Uh, it's not a common problem because career modes realistically only are meant to be played for three or four seasons. They're not meant to be played for ten, even though you can. But it got to a point where there was like two, three seasons where Barcelona didn't have a goalkeeper. <laughs> like for some reason, they just didn't sign one. So they were playing like Sammy Kadira and just PK in goal, which was utter ridiculous and obviously... Uh, regardless, anyway, we're playing the match at the sa at the uh, Camp Nou, and uh, a very nice goal to break the deadlock, to completely be honest. 1-0 just before the 52nd minute, trying to create some space. Bravo gets pushed out and actually gets fumbled over by the Barcelona player. A really smart ball from Tony Cruz, who in the match against Seville, if you didn't see, he had so many chances, was unluckily to be denied, and that was actually Tony Cruz's first goal of the, the league. Obviously, I am playing 
Well, at the start of the season, I was playing in more of a centre defensive mid, and he is a centre defensive mid. Obviously, does have attacking qualities, but um, he's pushed up the pitch quite well and made it 1-0 away at the Camp Nou, which is what you want to see in the El Clasico. But Ronaldo manages to somehow get it to Gareth Bale. He gets his shot off at Bravo, which I don't completely understand why he doesn't have the game, place, game face. The number one goalkeeper for arguably one of the best teams in the world doesn't have a game face, but they gave one to Ter Stegen, <laughs> which um, obviously they, they rotate quite heavily. But uh, Jordi Alba on the ball. Jordi Alba, not Jordi Alba, manages to make it 1-1. Manages to draw it in the 90th minute on the counter-attack. Really nice goal. But uh, it's got to be said, when you're left back and your centre defensive mid scored it, where are your strikers? I guess they're just being locked down. Where's Neymar? Where's where's Aguero? Obviously, Aguero. Where's Aguero and Imbolo, you should say? Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez. And we managed to draw the El Clasico, uh, which isn't the best. But uh, obviously, in the El Clasico, you want a lot of goals. But hey, it wasn't to be. And now we can focus on the match against Bayer Leverkusen. I don't mind sharing the points with uh, Barcelona, to completely completely be honest. So we managed to pick up a D, an A, a B, an F, and a B. So we're doing quite well there. We managed to get some job offers. Not interested in doing international job offers whatsoever. Um, I think it's a waste of time and quite boring. And at, that po and at this point in FIFA, um, it's kind of a novelty. At the moment, to to be completely honest, there's not enough there, not enough an incentive to dedicate the time in a series, which I, I do apologise if you do like that feature, but that's just my opinion. Hey, take it or leave it, I guess. But um, I am interested in the future, because obviously there is the Russian World Cup coming up in 2018. We are in 2015, it's a little while away, but I might do something for that. Uh, if we get to there in career mode, I might actually focus on it because that's obviously some significance, or I might even make another series. I did do it when the World Cup was on. I did do a an Italian career mode, which was pretty cool. But uh, we are playing Bayern Leverkusen here today, and Ronaldo was dominating from the get-go, trying to break down the Bayern Leverkusen's defense. Obviously, we are going to be facing our former player, our former loaned player, Javier Hernandez, obviously the former Real uh Manchester United, sorry, uh, low knee. But, guys, we managed to draw again. Um, that's all the highlights there were. were. I had very, very little shots, and Bayern Leverkusen had two shots not on target. That was such a boring match. Both teams locked down pretty well. Bayern Leverkusen was just passing it around the back. It was bullshit. There was no highlights worth showing. So, we managed to draw against... Barca in the El Clasico, and we managed to draw against Bayern Leverkusen in the round of 16. Sorry, the, the quarterfinals, which like in the round of 16, we managed to draw. So we're not boding well for drawing in the Champions League, but uh, hopefully our, our, our luck will change. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media links are in the description below, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. Got a lot of content coming up, so I hope you stick around. My name has been Simsy. Thanks for watching, mates. Goodbye. Cheers.